Hi there, it's Mary Charlson here from 5minutemarketing.com. I've got another tip for you this week, and this is around the pandemic and trends. So as we enter our eighth month in the pandemic since it began, it's become evident that a lot of behaviors are starting to become habits. And those habits at scale over time are also fueling new trends. You know, a lot of those things, the behavior changes were instituted from something outside. You know, there was a, there was a change that whether it be through safety or availability, you know, the shutdown, people had to change a lot of what they were traditionally doing. That was an external force. But what's happened is that internally, we are now evaluating some of those behaviors and changes. And especially if we found something new that we like, we're sticking with it. And that's where this kind of change on scale has formed new habits. And a lot of what, things that we're seeing in this area, we can, uh, we can take tips from where we've seen an escalation in terms of sales and so in, in, in demand. So I'm going to go through some of these things because if we think a little bit more closely about what is fueling these sales and the habit changes, it's pretty crazy and profound. So one thing is coffee, right? So, I mean, coffee, Nestle in Europe, uh, coffee sales have climbed one third this year already. And in the US, Starbucks and Nestle at home products have seen double digit growth. That's being fueled by this home office worker thing. And we know that this, you know, the folks who are able to move their, their business to an online environment, or at least work partially from home, that they've discovered a lot of things that they like about it. At least some have. Some can't wait to get back. But we're definitely going to see shifts that will go along long after the pandemic. Hair color. <laughs> I think I need a little bit myself. Uh, the sales in the second quarter across the industry are up 30%. A lot of that was fueled by salons being closed initially. But people have actually discovered now that there are some things that they're able to do on their own. And that is fueling some shifts of behavior. Vitamins and supplements. I don't know if it was kind of forward buying that drove a lot of this. People are afraid they wouldn't be able to get it with the lockdown. But the, um, the, 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 uh, the demand for health-driven products, sales, uh, you know, for buying on supplements was up 50% in the first half in the, in the U.S. this year. We'll see whether or not that continues. Cleaners and soaps, you know, that's sales driven up uh, 50 to 70%. No surprise. They are keeping, you know, getting rid of like viruses and <laughs> stuff on surfaces. Uh, booze. Booze sales are up, okay? Uh, beer sales are up 20%. Spirits are up 40%. I don't have stats on wine, but just anecdotally amongst my friends, yeah, it's gone up. And uh, some of that is, you know, reflective of the fact we're not going out and dining out, but a lot of it is also reflective of perhaps some, you know, maybe inappropriate coping mechanisms or just, just kind of escapism. And uh, whether that's good or bad for society, I'm not going to judge here, but we do know that the consumption has gone up. Nail care, okay? Apparently small indulgences are where it's at. Again, some of this may have been driven by salons closing, but, you know, it's that, that thing's like, well, okay, I'll just take care of one little thing. Evidently, I have not recently. And I'll feel better about it. So um, nail care and polish sales are up 115%. Okay, similar, uh, similar thing to the hair color trend. Fitness and weight training equipment. Initial sales demand bumped. 130% in March, and since then there's been a 30, or 307%, gotta get my decimals right, 307% jump in online sales in that category. And a lot of that is being driven by the online um, say, uh, uh, fitness workout uh, that we've seen with some clubs close, you know, independent coaches uh, chiming in on that, and that has created perhaps a new category. Uh, bread makers and baking supplies, uh, up 400% uh, in terms of at Bed Bath & Beyond. Go figure, we're all baking bread. Um, E-commerce, we know that that's up, you know, 31.8% quarter over quarter, and that shows no signs of letting up. Um, dog care and, uh, and uh, supplies. So pet ownership definitely has increased during the pandemic, whether it's, you know, bringing a new puppy, watching something new grow, whatever it is, nurturing, it's, it's brought out this, this attitude in people. Um, and, you know, dog food sales are up 159%. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Boats and RVs, right? If you were looking for a boat this summer, it was a tough call. Uh, boats, uh, you know, demand for all things has increased. You know, the Marine Retailers Association reported that 70% of boat dealers were out or very low in inventory by July. RV dealers reported a similar kind of thing. And if you're looking for a stand-up paddleboard or a kayak in August in Canada, you're out of luck. 
they just didn't anticipate this. But a lot of that was driven by staying at home, traveling locally, doing recreation. Sewing machines. Who knew there'd be a sewing machine run in 2020? But the sales in the category were up 60 to 80 percent. Um, yeah, that's pretty nuts. Um, you know, whether it's that home, being at home, nurturing, you know, uh, or, or economy, right, was also driving it. Hand tools, increase the demand for hand tools, largely driven by that whole surge in home renovations, do-it-yourself projects, arts and craft sales. Um, in the UK, um, Hobbycraft reported a 200% lift in online sales in their category. Home office, right, home office supplies, whether it be desks, ring lights, you know, webcams, all those kinds of things, uh, where, you know, Wi-Fi boosters, uh, some of those product categories sold out on Amazon. Uh, they, you know, caught up with it now, but definitely was driven by that at-home office worker. Gardening, right? Gardening uh, bloomed <laughs> this summer, so to speak. Uh, we were all doing our victory gardens. You know, it seems, you know, that whole lockdown, uh, you know, there's that whole nurturing, growing, uh, you know, uh, things, you know, at least moving forward in some capacity. If it's if it's not your life, it's your carrots <laughs> or your lettuce, right? Um, it, nursery and landscaping sales were up 60 to 70 percent. Eating and entertainment, right? As eating as entertainment, excuse me, at home. 35 to 40 percent of consumers reported eating more home-cooked meals over the last seven months. Puzzles and board games, there's another category that, that's kind of gone up. And some of the trends also indicate are indicated by the things that have gone down, right? So, you know, cosmetics, globally, L'Oreal reports markets fell 14 percent in the first quarter. Professional beauty, makeup, and fragrances were down 25 percent. Um, a lot of that is driven by, you know, less going out, less uh, entertainment, you know, big events, celebrations, office, right? Like you're just not, just not dolling up as much. Sun care. Hmm? Okay, we're not taking our sun, ho sun holidays. And the uh, it, they, they did, uh, JP Morgan uh, research estimates, all they would say is double digit decline. They wouldn't even give a number. Um, so we know that category is is uh, suck and win big time. Um, luggage, not unlike sun care, right? Um, luggage sales down 77%, okay? But other things like that, uh, briefcases also down 77%. If you're not going to the office, you're not carting around your crap. Gym bags down 57%, right? People not carting their things off to the gym. We're not traveling, right? Will these things recover? Yes, they will. But... Um, you know, they at least temporarily uh, indicate some changes in patterns and behaviors. Um, certainly for travel, maybe there'll be more um, desire for local travel. Bridal wear down, swimwear down. Again, these all kind of, you know, fit in with not being able to, you know, have big celebrations and weddings. The swim wears, you know, no cruises, sun holidays, restrictions around, um, uh, around quarantine when you get home or unavailability of flights, right? All of that stuff. Um, and just in general, clothing and apparel, um, people are not buying the new stuff. They're not going out. They're not celebrating. They're not, uh, you know, they're having Zoom calls. So they can be like professional up top and party on the bottom. Nobody will know, right? <laughs> so what we can see here is this whole movement to, you know, new behaviors are becoming habits. And habits over time, amplified at scale, are becoming trends. I'll leave you with a with a kind of a fun video of my uh, my first experience out on a uh, client meeting, face to face meeting outside of Zoom, uh, the first meeting in seven months, and uh, in it I sort of muse and riff around you know the protocols and various things, and um, I, I think you'll also find it quite amusing to, uh, when I couldn't find my pants, <laughs> and then what uh, you know what that says about how our habits and behaviors have changed, so. That's our, th our five minute marketing tip for this week, something to ponder. I do believe all these changes are, are profound. It's not unlike a time period like the Industrial Revolution where we're going to look back on this in the future and say, wow, this is when things changed. And um, in that, I'm very bullishly optimistic because in change, there is always opportunity. And this change is happening on a massive scale, locally, nationally, and internationally. And for the people that see it and are able to capitalize on those trends, they'll be gold in that. Thanks again for joining us. Okay, so I'm just returning from a meeting. My first outside of the office meeting in seven months. Um, fabulous new client. I'm super excited, but they wanted to meet in person. 
And I was like, yeah, okay, that would be fine. I'd love to see, you know, because I'd want to see the plant and everything else that they're they're doing there. I was like, what's the protocol? Do I wear a mask? Do I not wear a mask? Do I take my clear one? Like, do I shake hands? Do I don't shake hands? Do I hit elbows? Like, what do I do? Like, new people. Um, but the funniest part of the story is um, I couldn't find my pants to go to the meeting. I was I was really pressed for time because initially it was supposed to be in the west side of Vancouver and then it ended up being in the, the plant out in Steveston at Richmond, which from North Van is like way longer than I'd anticipated for commuting time. And so I'm flying through my closet looking for the pants that I kind of wanted to wear with the jacket and kind of the professional look. And, and I, I can't for life with me find my pants and it threw me into a tizzy. And I'm like, oh my God, I have to like change my whole wardrobe, my plan. And I put on something else different and then like, where are my shoes that go with the other set that I have? And then I realized that the heel needed, it, it was just, it was like a gong show. But the funny part of it is, is that I kind of think the pants that I wanted to wear, I may have taken to the dry cleaners in February. And then this whole thing went south in March and I haven't had face-to-face -face client meetings since then. So I'm a little concerned because I suspect the dry cleaner is now out of business because nobody's getting their stuff dry cleaned. And, um, I don't know where my pants are. Uh, so suffice it to say that I found something to put on, uh, you know, not party from the, the bottom down for the real life meeting uh, and, uh, and made it to the client meeting. But it really drove home something for me and it's about uh, the way that our behaviors have changed and how our behaviors have become habits. And I have evidently become out of the habit of getting dressed in my professional clothing other than from the top up with jackets and to the point where I couldn't find what I wanted to wear I'm still you know I think it might be at the dry cleaner since I had a business and my shoes you know just it, the whole thing kind of went sideways and um, anyway I just thought it was an interesting insight how quickly our behaviors have changed altered how that is impacted on our habits and um, yeah it was it was it was kind of alarming to, to realize that I had my briefcase. I haven't used this thing in seven months. It still had some hand sanitizer in it from back in, in March and some documents from back in March that I kind of kind of forgot that that's where they were. And uh, anyway, all this to say is, I mean, I love my on life, online life. I love seeing clients face to face, obviously. It took a big chunk of my day uh, that, you know, if I'd done it by Zoom, I would have been way more efficient, but it was, there was valuable, valuable time spent in making that personable connection, especially with a new client. And so i um, glad that I did it. I'm glad that I found something to wear. <laughs> and I just thought I would share the insight. Anyway, uh, talk to you later.